hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Juliet so in today's video I will be showing you how I made an underdress for a lace dress I have my fabric here folded into two using the biggest measurement I'm working with which is the hip divided by four plus extra three inches so I have both front and back folded into two and placed on top of each other so they are, they are both going to have the same width Next, for the length, I am going to take out 5 inches from my length. So, the length you are working with, you are going to take out 5 inches. You can take out 6, which is still very okay. And then you add extra 2 inches for allowance. I just ruled out a starting line at the top, as you can see. So, I'm going to be cutting that out before we start marking. So, for this upper part, I'm going to mark the shoulder measurements I'm working with divided by 2 minus 2. Shoulder divided by 2 and then you subtract 2. So, from that point, I'm now I'm marking the armhole. So, I came down by 4 inches from the top like so. And then on that line, I am marking quarter of the bust measurement I'm working with plus 1 inch of ease. And then I'm going to curve the armhole from that point. So after curving the armhole, next I'm going to place 5 inches from the top like so. And then I will mark the half length I'm working with which is 18 inches. And then the hip line which is 25 inches. On this waistline, I'm going to mark a quarter of the waist measurement. That is the half length round divided by four I will add one inch of ease to that and then another two inches for allowance the same thing for the hip I am marking quarter of the hip measurement plus one inch ease and one inch of and two inches of allowance so whatever you have on the hip line you're going to take the same measurement to the hem of the dress so I'm making a short one but yours could be long the technique is the same Using my ruler now, I'm going to connect both points together and then we'll proceed to cutting. So on this upper part, I came down by 2 inches which is going to form the neckline. So I'm going to curve that to meet that um, armhole line like so. So you can curve your armhole a lot deeper if you want. And that is it for the cutting, both the front and the back. Next, I am going to measure around this neckline. Then use that measurement to cut out a strip of fabric, which is going to be one and a half inches wide and then the length will be exactly what we have on the neckline so I have mine here it's a little longer than what I measured which is fine it shouldn't be shorter than what you need so on the wrong side of this dress I'm going to place the strip the right side of the strip is facing the wrong side of the fabric so I'm going to go sew that using half of an inch and this is what we have so next I'm going to push the raw edges up and then I will fold twice the strip like so and then we're going to go top stitch. So we'll fold twice like so. I'm going to first of all pin everything before taking it to the machine to go and sew it. So this is it. If this is your first time on this channel please consider subscribing and give this video a like if you are still watching
So I'm going to take this to the sewing machine now and I will go and sew from one end to the other and I will repeat the same step for the other piece. So after sewing this is what we have. Next we're going to finish the armhole and then make the strap. So I'm measuring around this armhole like so. And then from there I'm going to add an extra 10 inches which is what we took off. So 5 inches for the front and then 5 inches for the back. So we're going to do that and then measure the armhole for the back again. And use that measurement to cut out a strip. Here I have this um, the dress front and back right sides facing each other so i'm placing the strap on the wrong side so the right side of the the strap is facing the wrong side of the dress so i'm going to pin that all the way to this point i place them right sides together so i don't have anything any entanglement so from there i'm going to measure 10 inches like i said and then place that 10 inches point on the other side as you can see i hope i'm making sense so i'm going to pin from there all the way to the end before we will go and sew it down so i'm going to measure again to be sure that i have exactly 10 inches and if you took out six inches for your off for the strap then you will have to measure 12 for yours so just make sure nothing is squeezing place them together like so to be sure that they are sitting exactly how they should be and then we'll repeat the same thing for this other side i'm going to place this strip of fabric on the wrong side the right side of the strap on the the right side on the wrong side of the dress so i will pin to that point again and then measure 10 inches and then at the point 10 inches point i'm going to place it at the back and then we'll take the dress to the machine to go sew in place So after sewing that down, this is what we have. Next, we're going to finish the raw edges. So I'm folding once, and then I'm going to fold over to sit on the first line that we made. So I pushed the raw edges up or outward, and then I folded once the strap, and then I folded again this time around so it sits on the line that we made initially. Make sure it's covering the line. That's the only way it's going to look neat. So I'm using my pins to hold everything in place. And then when you get to the part where the strap is, you're going to continue in the same fashion. But now you're folding the raw edges to the middle and then folding again into two like so yeah you fold and then fold the raw edges to the middle and then fold again into two and it's going to continue the same way from the armhole all the way like that make sure everything is aligned so it comes out clean
So once we get to this point, we're going to continue the same way, fold over, fold in the raw edges and then fold over to sit on the first seam line and then I will pin in place all the way to this other side. So I'm going to take this to the sewing machine to go sew that place down. Starting from one armhole over the strap like that to the other armhole line. And then I will do the same for the other side of the top. So far this is what we have. The finished armhole and the neckline and then the, the straps also look beautiful. Next we're going to join the side. So I left about 2 inches of allowance. We're going to go sew that in all the way down. So if you're making a longer one, you may want to leave an opening at the down part. So you might leave like about 14 inches on the down for an opening. But mine is short, so I'm going to leave it closed all the way down. After that, I'm going to hem the down part. And this is what we have. That is it for this underdress. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video.